in the first chapter of Sakyadeshya, which is on the examination of the wise, it says, although the wise have immeasurable learning, they still embarrass the lesser knowledge of others. By means of continuously practicing thus, they quickly proceed to omniscient. So, in Tibetan it says, Kheba yuan ten pa me kyang, shengi yuan ten chung ang an len, te da gyun do jie ba yi, nyu do tam jie kyang paru do. So, it means, those uh, great scholars and learned person and wise person, they possess great knowledge. Their knowledge is vast and deep and profound. But they still uh, want to study more, want to gain more knowledge. They are not uh, satisfied or they are not content with the knowledge that they have. So, without having any pride or arrogance, and they want to study more. And even from those who are lesser educated person, from them also, they want to gain knowledge, they want to study. So, they want to put more and more knowledge in their treasure of wisdom. So this is the nature of uh, genuine, learned and wise person. So by doing this continuously without stopping and continuously having the great diligence to study with great joy, then such person with such uh, continuation can become omniscient uh, in a short period of time or within short time they can become omniscient or they can become omniscient faster than others. So this shows no matter how learned you are, no matter how educated you are, but still you are down to the earth. Still you don't have any pride or arrogance. You don't disrespect those who are not educated. You still respect everybody, still treat everybody equally, irrespective of their knowledge, whether they are educated or not. They respect all without any discrimination. So this is the uh, real nature of the genuine learned and wise person. So this verse or this teaching give us the advice, no matter how learned we are, we should not have pride, we should not have arrogance, because pride and arrogance is something that can spoil the person, that can make person uh, more distance from others. People will not admire those who are very proud or who are very arrogant. They will not like such person so, although such a person has 
education or good knowledge, but because of their pride and arrogance, <clears throat> people will not follow. It will distend from others. And if people will not follow, or if people don't like, then one cannot use the knowledge in a proper way. One cannot benefit others through their knowledge because their knowledge is spoiled by the arrogant, arrogance or by their pride. So pride and arrogance can spoil the person who, who is learned. So therefore it is very important no matter how learned you are, but still need to be very humble or need to be um, friendly with all the people from the different walks of life or still need to respect everybody, still need to make friends or need to live harmony with everybody without seeing some uh, as a low person or some as an object of disrespect, etc. So, if one can respect everybody equally, and if one can value all the human beings, irrespective of their knowledge, although one has great education, then this is a sign of great uh, and genuine learned and wise person. So we should do this or we should follow this footstep. By following this footstep, one can be happy and one can make others happy and one can benefit others through one's own knowledge. <clears throat>